My name is Carolina Teresa. And I'm Melissa Rich. And, and this, this is Hose with Feelings. Hi, guys. We are so excited to be back with our amazing, gorgeous guest. Her name is Sydney Washington. She is an incomparable stand up comedian, actress, voiceover actress, um, model, sister, best friend to some of us. And a beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous woman with the smoothest skin I've ever touched. And she always smells nice. Melissa, you got to make sure she write down the intros because I, I see she's doing whatever the hell she wants up here. She really, <laughs> literally, just like off the dome. Honestly, I didn't know that she was going to start even. Some, uh-huh. Literally, Sydney, we don't even always start like that. Just sometimes she randomly does that. Mm-hmm. And I have to like respect her creative process. I guess. And support... <laughs> My partner, <laughs> yes, and um, but yeah, it's it's not always easy, yeah, for sure, and Th- especially how, no, I I loved it. It was great. Yeah, I mean, after the disrespect she threw at you just before we started recording, <sighs> you did deserve a good I'm trying to intro. make it up, yeah. and I thought that was a good intro. Uh, yeah. Did you want me to say specific credits? I mean, that's usually what people do when they yeah. when they're bringing in a guest okay. for a show. But I mean. Just your thing. Sydney Washington. <laughs> you've seen her on HBO, Comedy Central, mm-hmm. MTV. Wow. Sid can M- cook. Sid can cook to on me, Instagram. Sid can cook is the great disaster of the pandemic. That not getting picked up was a loss for entertainment at large. I honestly think we should start it back up again. 100%. <laughs> we should start it back yes. up. Carolina, if we start that up, I want people to know that's a wellness check and people need, she need to come in and see if we're <laughs> on our way out. Why? <laughs> Literally jumping off a I fucking think it's a building perfect, for that. I think it's perfect to bring back. And you don't have to do it every week. Maybe just do it like twice a month. I think it would be amazing. I really enjoyed it. She still don't know how to cook. So. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's true. It's so true. Sid can, can't. Um, the the premise of the show is to just have fun. Yeah. And people take cooking so serious. And I'm the opposite of that. And Carolina, a very serious cook person, you got to see her be the most unserious. Mm-hmm. So right. It was just comedy all around. It was a comedy cooking show. Because That's what it was. she was... High. Yes. Yeah. High and drunk. Which is hard yeah. to Cross cook. Faded. Yeah. It's Cross not that faded. hard to cook. I, I, I don't want to hear that it was hard to cook because I was the only one actually cooking. I can't and cook And I high. was pushing through it. I was pushing through it. And she would get, she'd be like, you're fucking wasted. And I'd be like, well. I never cursed at you. You're giving me anxiety <laughs> I and never I need my medicine. You. Okay. What's the topic for today? Let's get into <laughs> it. <laughs> Let's stay on track, hon. Let's stay on track. <laughs> well... It's kind of perfect because I think we all had a lot of small stuff go wrong today. Mm-hmm. The, I think that's a common thread for the podcast. There's always something we're coming in with that's kind of, kind of insane. Yeah. Yeah. The I topic- forgot the t-shirt was a big one. The topic is not sweating the small stuff. Mm. Slash, Slash social, social media. media. Woo. <laughs> Which I didn't think was honestly like a super natural fit. But after you explained it, I was like, yes, because social media sometimes does not feel like small stuff. It kind of feels like very Big public stuff. stuff that can come back to haunt you and maybe end your career. But it so, is small stuff. I think I, I don't know about I can't speak for you, but I the way that sometimes I let social media stress me out isn't in the big way where I'm like it's coming back to haunt me it's like no, of course did I mess up did I do this wrong like is this a good representation of myself like blah 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 it can be right. stressful you know it makes you feel good about yourself it makes you feel bad about yourself it's also a tool for stalking you know it's a it's everything <laughs> that you can sweat on it well mm-hmm. Connor and I were just talking before you guys got here about how like you know, he's in a situation and things, you know, you can Romantic. misread things. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to put Connor on blast right now, but you can really look into things in whatever way you want to look into them, you know, which I have done in positive ways and not positive ways. Yeah. It's really. And then you kind of like make something that is small, big. Yeah. And I think Cindy's a good person to talk about this because. She is big on social media. She, you have a following. Sydney. I have a following, but yeah, I wouldn't does. say big. You have yeah. a so you have a following, mm-hmm. and you. I'm indie. I'm indie on. on I'm Insta- indie. I'm indie yeah, on Instagram. Right. <laughs> Our indie darlings. Yes, Sydney Washington. <laughs> Sydney Washington. <laughs> but I, I think you're good at 
Instagram, but I also know as your friend that you're like, it gives me anxiety. And you even stepped away from it, but then had to come back to it. Yeah. So I know you you understand that struggle. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like um, anybody who's thinking way too into it has too much time on their hands. Because if you don't have a much, you got to hurry up, put it together, post it, move on. You got like 14 other jobs. You can't mm-hmm. be making everything perfect. And I think that's why TikTok is so um, big right now is because people do whatever, put whatever. They not even thinking about it. They got their bonnet. They got crust in their eyes. They saying (laughs) anything and everything. I'm talking about some of the most hateful, hilarious things. (laughs) They're posting and then they're keeping it moving. And then they're posting four more videos like that. And one of them is going to go viral because at the end of the day, People relate to people who are like, oh, you're kind of like me or you're a version of me. Nobody wants somebody who's like perfect and have it all together because that's like boring. It is boring. And it shows that you have too much time on your hands Mm -hmm. because you've took so long to like make it perfect. But I do struggle with that as a Virgo. Making things perfect. But you guys keep saying you have too much time on your hands. It's like, I don't necessarily have too much time on my hands. I definitely let... I be in the house. Okay. You 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 be in there with me. We both have time. We both got time. But I'm just saying, like, if you have the time, you're going to be on your phone. You're going to be on social media. You're going to be getting influenced or you're influencing. I feel like you influence. You influence too. Okay. Well, you, I think it's, we used it as a tool to have fun and be social. It's Mm -hmm. literally supposed to be us interacting. uh, And now it's not that. It's like everybody is putting out, putting out, putting out and hoping people engage and then they disengage because they're like, I don't want to get too caught up in there. And that's not what the purpose of this was for. It was like, oh, I'm connecting with different groups of people to build community. community. These are the people that are going to ride with me and understand my comedy or my POV. And now it's more like, like, how much stuff can I put out and that people are going to digest and then they're going to do what I say and when I need them to. But it's not it's not a real back and forth. Is it just like completely capitalism has taken over? I think on both ends yeah. on us inputting and the way the apps are designed now, which is yeah. just to be addicting, get you to spend as much time as you can on it advertising whatever I and mean, that's they obvious, always but... go to mon- like everything is monetized instagram is monetized you have the instagram shop you have tiktok now you have tiktok shop paying for which ads is also you have yeah. to pay for ads you can like boost and pump up your whatever engagement or whatever i'm gonna know. say this right now it's not fun it's not fun yeah. unless you're literally like um low stakes you just like i'm throwing anything out there and see where it goes and um I mean, it's one of those things that like, you know, our friend uh, Marie Faustin, she's Mm -hmm. one of the most hilarious people we know. Our guest, our previous guest. Yeah, Mm -hmm. she's, you know, she's really good at like thinking of things off the dome and just and and letting it go. But like uh, to see her like, oh, my God, I have to run this over and over and over again. It's just like. It's not her. That's not who she is as a person. Not at all, yeah. And, but to see her like, oh, OK, I'm actually going to be focused and get this right so I could post it. Yes, it takes the fun out of it. But then when you see all these people are like, damn, yeah, I love right. this. This is great. You're like, OK, well, there's some good in this and I should mm-hmm. probably continue, you know? Well, yeah. I think that your Marie stuff is also so hilarious. Your Barbie yeah. stories are like nationwide hits. People who, like, you don't even know, Michigan people have told me they catch them. Like, people love this year. You can tell them what it is. I won't say it. I mean, well, basically, it's like uh, I used to be a bottle girl and a waitress at a nightclub. And I take, I find pictures of black Barbies doing random things. And I, like, animate them in my stories. And... Yes, it is really great, but it takes up work all yeah. my time. Yeah. I'm yeah. there all day finding and then putting the captions and then putting effects on the Barbies. And I'm doing all this stuff. And I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, what Am I a cartoon <laughs> network? What the fuck yeah. is going on here? Why am I putting... I'm putting too much production into this. And then I got burnt out. And then I was like, okay, y'all not getting nothing. But also, right. you know, I'm working on... Something. Something, you mm-hmm. know. So yeah. I was like, yeah. you know, let me just... Let me just hold off. But yeah, I, I do. That's the problem is like whenever I think of something that I'm, I could continue, it takes up. It's just too much. Yeah. yeah. Because that's how niche my brain is. It's like I can't do the, the viral trends because that's just that's boring to me. I really think of things that 
are very complicated and it's it's going to take me so much time to gather it that I'm too exhausted yeah, to I mean, be right. consistent. I hear you. But and you are paid. kind of in a way. I feel like there was a point, especially during the pandemic, if somebody really took Instagram and worked it yeah. during the pandemic, it was Sydney. Sydney was really giving. She was in her, her yeah. in her house with all her, her sexy lights and giving, you know, hair and body. And then she'd hop on and tell something funny. And it was like, were you doing Instagram when you were like a bottle girl? No, no. I, and I actually miss those days so much. I'm going to put it on record. And the people who were in the time of when Instagram first started, when you remember when its emblem was like, it looked real janky. Yeah. And you're like, what the hell is it? That's when we were at our best. When, yeah. when like MySpace was transitioning out, we were still kind of on Facebook. But I mean, we were using Instagram, but mainly for the like the filters totally. or whatever. That was when we were peak. Selfies. We were in our peak, like, oh, we want to look good, but we still want to have a good time. Yes. So everything wasn't as documented as it, as it is now, you know? Curated. And, and mm-hmm. people weren't, like, they were posting things and not thinking about it, and it looked a mess. I mean, there were yep. so many times people posted a group picture of me, and I had a ring around my nose. Like, because <laughs> nobody was so hyper focused on, you know, how you're supposed to look. <laughs> just got You're that. like, just like, we're having a good time, party. <laughs> but it's like, it's 4 a.m. Yeah. We're in after hours. Why are you taking photos? Right. You know? Yes. Um, but because at that time, it, it was like, you know, when people are like, oh, credit cards aren't real money. That's kind of how it felt. Like, yeah. it's like, it wasn't, you know, you should not yeah. be here tomorrow. Melissa, you know how I mean? many times on this podcast have you said credit cards are not real money? <laughs> They're not. You're, you're, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so it's not your money. You have I or- have, it actually has been proven to me several times that it's not real money. <laughs> I plan on dying with a lot of debt. Because what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Find me. Yeah. They're, they're find me. Find. If you have a social Come security number, hell. they're going to find you. They will. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll see you in hell. But yeah, I I actually miss those days. I think that's when I was the most creative uh, mm-hmm. and having the most like organic fun is when I was actually focused on the moment and not focusing on making a moment so that I can put online. Totally. And um, I mean, yeah, we at that time, were we dressing that great? No. I mean, that's when like Christian Louboutins made a big hit and we were just like, oh, we're going to wear a red bottom and American apparel dress. And you're yeah. like, oh, I look good. Those and, like big huge bag. Oh, the big Jeff- shoes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Remember those? Easy. Mm-hmm. Oh, the Lita's. Yeah, of course. I, I, I would ride or die I for Jeffrey Campbell. Sorry. Yeah. That was still that was buy a, their shoes. Whatever. That was a good time. That was a great time. And that was a moment in my life where, like, don't sweat the small stuff. I mean, anything that was, like, crazy, wacky, uh, like, awful happened. And, I I mean, also, I was very high and drunk, so I wasn't that stressed. Right. But I literally had to move. I was, like, so wrapped up in I got to get to the next day that I'm not going to let this ruin my time. Oh, yeah. 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 The fact that we did not know each other during that era is Good for like the world, I guess. I should have like, known I'm you when so I was going to be sad. when I was going to Beatrix in. I should have um, Beatrix. Well, in. I, I just known. missed that. Yeah, I moved here in 2014. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, which is yeah. devastating. Yeah, and you worked at a club with my crazy friend Peely. Yeah, we did. Yeah, Peely, the we event with. Yeah, and like Peely's been a huge part of my nightlife antics. And it's just like somehow God was like, that'll be too much. It'll be yeah. too much. It he really would not is. let us come together. And yeah. it's it's actually really devastating. There but. was, I think because of that error, I am so um more relaxed than I could be. Um, because I mean, I've lost my rent all in one night. Like <laughs> I literally got, crazy. like, I would get paid in cash. I picked up my cash, went to Pasha, then went to <laughs> so, then went to somebody's after hours. Yeah, I had, like, fucking Pasha. I had, like, $3,000 in mm-hmm. cash on me. Mm-hmm. I had, like, a, a Canon, really good camera. I had an, a, one of the new iPods. Like, I had so much electronics in my Mark by Mark Jacobs bag. Yeah. And somehow I was like, I'm going to bring this bag to after hours when it's like, you should be locking this yes. up. Why are you bringing it? I lost... All I I had my rent money, and then I was supposed to go to Winter Music Conference that week. Oh my god! And I was like, I don't know. I'm. That's a lot of money. That's my rent. I also have more money, but it was just like this is a lot of money to be losing, and then going on a trip where essentially I'm gonna be losing more money. Yeah. So I had to like stress out for two days. Did you go? Hold on. 
<laughs> I had to stress out two days. I went to the club looking for the guy who they said allegedly took my money. Um, by the end of the week, he had already moved to Texas. That's oh all. my god! All he needed was three k to uproot his life and go to <laughs> go oh to my Texas. God. So, um, damn. But I stayed calm and I worked the 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 rest of the week and I made the money back twice. Mm. I made the money back twice. So it was like, and you know you what? Went. My God is always gonna have my back. Um, and after that, I was like, well, I mean. I can I can pretty much do no wrong. Like things are going to go my way eventually, yep. you know. Yeah. yeah. But I think that is the benefit of not sweating the small stuff is you yeah. can stay calm and figure it out mm -hmm. versus panicking, probably fucking up something else because you're like in a tailspin. I can relate to that. I feel like I lose things so much. I've lost my wallet. I've lost. I don't know where my ID is right now. Mm. Don't ask me where my ID is. She'll I can't up. find it. I just kind of feel like she'll show up because I didn't do anything crazy with it. I know it's in a pocket somewhere or a purse somewhere. But I used to go crazy looking for things, you know, keys, debit yeah. cards, credit cards. Now I'm just kind of like, it, it, if it's meant to come back to me, it'll come back to me. We'll see what happens. I've tweeted out so many times, hey, if you was keys, where would you be? And yeah. some people would like write answers like, oh, it might be underneath the I might be underneath the couch. Or did you check your jeans pockets? Or it might be in a shoe somewhere. Is it still in the door? Like things like that. And reading stuff like that, you're like, oh, everybody loses their keys and there's no right. reason mm -hmm. to like go crazy. You know, yeah, but sometimes even when you know you're being silly, like I legit cried in the Uber on the way here. She did. Because of my hair and because I just felt like I didn't look good. I get that. And, and like it that's feels a small big. Thing. That's a small thing. It feels big, but. I know ultimately it is dumb for me to cry because of my hair. No, no. That's not, I, and I, I, I want people to stop the stop with the shaming people of like, it could be worse. Yes. Da, 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 da. Like it is a real feeling to be like, hey, especially right now, like I said, 12 years ago, you could go outside with thin eyebrows, weird eyeshadow, fucked up uh, eyeliner, and people be like, oh, that's you look great. You're a New York City it girl. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's a socialite. And yeah, everything no will more. be fine. That's no no more. You yeah. it's all about would you putting your best foot forward and like leaning into that? And especially if you're a black woman, woman mm. of color, whatever, like your hair is literally one of the staples that you need to like say who you are as a person or like you put your personality on it. So, yeah, it, it, I understand about, hey, I don't like my hair. I don't like my outfit or whatever. I'm going to be fucking in a bad mood. And, you know, I might cry because of something else. I might be crying about, like, childhood trauma, but I'm going to say it's my hair, yep. you know? <laughs> yes. Um, I'm actually totally. upset about Well, I'm upset about my hair, but I'm also just upset because I'm just not liking the way that I'm looking lately. Yeah, yeah. And that, maybe that's childhood trauma. No, no. It could be. <laughs> it could be. It could no, be. No, no. It could be, but, like, <laughs> but the way you look, right, is yeah. it, some people would be like, hey, you know, there's other things that are going on in the world that's more important. But in mm. this moment, right, you're being filmed for a podcast that you're going to put on the Internet mm -hmm. that you want to do well. You start adding on things to reason why you're actually making this a big deal. Mm. So to not sweat the small stuff, you have to um, compartmentalize everything. And that's like hard. so hard. Yeah, You literally have to hire a therapist to help you put things in perspective so that you don't spiral. Yeah. Pay someone a salary so that you can try to function. And yeah. Some of them are good. Yeah. Some of them are good. I had therapy yesterday. She was doing good work. Yeah. I was laid out on the couch too, like. <sighs> and you still cried today. So even yeah. with somebody, a professional, you, I mean, it's really hard to not look at the big scheme of things and then be like, oh, but this really small moment might change everything. Right. But mm -hmm. in reality, it's kind of like, it's that like, um, you know, on TikTok, they did that viral lucky girl syndrome bullshit yeah. about like, if you say these good things, if you have this energy, like it's going to come. I love my hair. My yeah. hair looks nice. Uh, yeah. I love my hair. My hair looks nice. I'm yeah. Pretty. I mean, there's <laughs> there's always people that, that I'm so like. Psycho, the way you just looked at me. Saying that. There's always people that you're like, this person weird as hell. And I don't know why they're so confident. When, but right. things are always good because they actually believe it. Yeah. And yeah. so. You actually have to put that out there that's like, hey, this is not even that ba bad. Like, I'm going to be okay. Things are going to work out. what if it out. is bad? Like? <laughs> like you go to a Jamaican lady who <laughs> scares you to do your hair. And then when you try to talk to her about not using rubber bands because it breaks hair. And she's just like, I need to do the hair the way that I need to do the hair. Everybody do the hair different. And I'm going to do it the way that I need to do it. So you don't 
walk out here looking a mess. And I was like, well, in just in this, like speci- this specific thing, right? Um, we have to be able to walk away from things. We have to have the power to be like, I want this so bad, but I'm going to show you I'm out. Because I'd rather have my regular hairstyle than deal with this new you one that I, I hate. You should have left? Yes. If somebody is not giving me right, and you're about to touch my head. Yeah. I want to feel good. I want to I want to know that I could trust you, not only with my hair, but with my gossip. And if I can't do either of those, I I'm out. I nothing to her. We I out. Well, I like I like so my hairstylist, Marianne, I talk to her. We I'm listening to her business. We got the church music on. Then we <laughs> we then we seeing what's going on outside. Like it's a vibe. It's yeah. a community. And if I don't feel like I have that, that with my my nail tech marbles. Yeah, that. if you don't feel that way, you got to get up and be like, I'm taking my money elsewhere cuz our Marianne. Our money is so important. And so in, in order to give somebody Especially a, now, yeah. a service, yeah. if people don't want... The thing is, is that everybody hates their lives. Okay, cool. Yes, that's true. But if you clock in and you're putting that on somebody else who's paying they good money, oh, no, no, honey, I'm out. I'm not I'm not putting up with this. $100 yeah. for you to for you to not give me what I want and give me an attitude and then make me feel small and feel like I can't even tell you that I don't like this. And then I got to leave looking like Boo Boo the Fool with a ponytail? <laughs> Absolutely not. It's not happening. Wow, so I look like I'm Boo-Boo not saying you don't look like Boo Boo the Fool, but I'm just saying in 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 theory that's so what. So you would have <laughs> turned to that Jamaican lady and been like, "I'm leaving." Now, where I am right now, yes, because of all of the things that have happened to me in L.A. In L.A., I'm saying this on the record, everybody got a title, but mm-hmm. they don't have the credentials for the title. They'll say, oh, I'm a manager. I'm a stylist. Mm-hmm. I do right. hair. I do all this. Stuff. Y'all know, y'all look in a book to find out what professions they are, and then they'll be like, that's what I am today. And then when you go there, they can't do it. So there, there was wow. two times where I went to go get my hair done. Bitch, $1,600. $1,600 and my hair, the wig was giving anorexic. It was giving Alec McBeal. It was, it was so <laughs> thin, thin <laughs> the thinnest of thin. It was, bo- it was a boneless lace front. <laughs> and I, I couldn't tell because the way that they styled the hair on the, on the head mm-hmm. after they washed it and stuff, it looked crazy. The color looked bad. And I was like, wait, what am I going to do with this? And they're like, no refunds, no refunds. So now like, I'm stuck. How, I'm stuck it. with the sixteen hundred dollar wig that uh, that literally looked just like skeletons. And wow. so I was like, okay, I'm gonna get another wig. Get another wig. <laughs> get another wig, honey. I'm pay- now I'm paying. Now we over two thousand dollars in hair. And I want to let you know, I have nowhere to go. That's two thousand dollars worth of hair ever. My mouth ever. is open. My ever. mouth is open. <laughs> ever. Like- and I've been to the, I've been to the Emmys. And that's still, I'm still, the hair that I wore there was not $2,000. So I walked out of there giving them my hard-earned money. I'm crying. My baby hairs is even laughing at me. Like, they <laughs> didn't do my hair right. I, I was I was furious. And I walked out and I was like, I feel so dumb. And so now it's like a year after that, it's like, no. Why feel like a fool when you just be like, I guess I won't be getting my hair done. Yeah. Right. I, guess, I guess I'll be slapping in a little bun. I'll have a little bun in the back because I'd rather look regular then spend a lot of money to look stupid that's such a good lesson in hiring someone yeah. recommendations like yeah somebody i mean you know like this is stupid of me because i just like was like there's a hair salon on the corner over there and i walked in there last week when mary kate was here and i asked the lady how much it cost to do a hairstyle and she called the lady who did my hair and she told her whatever. She said it was $85. And I was like, okay. And then that and then I was like, all right, I guess I'm just gonna go there. That's my problem. My problem is that I really will just go and try something because mm. I'm just like, this is convenient to me. Like when I was at Mary Kate's house, I went to those Armenian ladies and I let them straighten my hair. But they did a good job. They did a good job. They, they did turned a good it job. out. Yeah. They turned it out. And that's fine. And that's I think that's fine. But I think we do need to say as consumers, we got to take the power back because now everybody's like, no, you need me. And it's like, no, 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 no. You need your lights on. You need your phone bill. So you need my money. Mm -hmm. So um, if everybody just collected, we'd be like, hey, I'm not dealing with this kind of like crappy oh, ass this is service. A big conversation on TikTok with black women in hairstyles. Yeah, it's, but it's not just hairstyles, it's just everything. Period. Like yeah. you you pull up to the to the coffee shop, people don't want to, you know, get your name right. That's fine, but like then you don't want to get my order right, then you want to make me feel bad that the order's wrong. It's like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey. who working here? <laughs> yeah. Who clocked in? It's Sissy's you." in the coffee mm-hmm. shop like, 
What is this latte? I asked no, for a Red Bull. I don't, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, said I, I said Red Bull on ice. <laughs> no, I think as a customer, you need to lead, yeah. lead with love as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's like there's just some people who show up to work and they're miserable. And for me, as who's, who used to be a you know waitress and... I, sometimes I gave bad service and I was like I wish they would Same. I wish they would say something to me and sometimes they would and I'd be like oh they asking for the manager <laughs> <laughs> I was horrible and that's it <laughs> I was like not purposely just like sometimes could not give a fuck and like especially like when I worked in fine dining in Midtown East yeah. and there would be like you know the president of a country that I've never heard of and they'd like be thinking that they were going to get like special treatment but actually they would just fill her out you know the tax exempt form to get mm -hmm. like twelve dollars off their meal. So mm -hmm. I was just always an asshole to them. It would literally be like, "Could you get us butter?" And I'd be like, "Maybe," and like walk away. Like I was bad. I think yeah. it's funny it that bad. you both were in hospitality or waitressing. Why we don't give because, hospitable? No, because you guys are two of the biggest divas I know. Me, I was not a no, 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 no. Hold on, let's now let's get. I turned into a diva after I realized like how awful some people are, mm, and yes. so I was very yes. eager to like do give them five star treatment. But then I realized, which is another thing, it's is like don't story. don't small don't sweat the small stuff. It's like. People are going to come in and they're going to do what they were going to do anyway. So it's like yes. I, if I give them top of the line service or not, they was going to overtip me regardless. So it's like, why am I bent over feeling like the help mm -hmm. for these folks when they was going they was going to act like that regardless of what I do, especially mm -hmm. in fine dining. You know what yeah. I mean? So like the more you actually kind of like give them like, mm, we'll see. They actually like, the, not they like that, but they it's a game. To that. It's yeah, a game. It's and they respect it more. 100%. So that's what, that was, that's what was happening with me. But I remember, this is like, um, I can remember like yesterday. I came in, there was this uh, family or whatever. They were having a drink before they were going to dinner. And, you know, I was, I gave them everything they needed. I got them their water. I got them their drinks. But the, the woman Something was not adding up. She mm -hmm. just seemed off. She had a problem. And then when I dropped the check and there was gratuity because it was six people, she was like, why are, why are you getting gratuity? I don't understand. What did you do? I said, did you get all your th everything that you asked for? Did you get your water? Like, what was the problem? She's like, yeah, I need to talk to the manager because I don't understand why you are getting a tip for this. But why are you getting 20%? And I was like, I could have went off on her. At a restaurant? No, it was a, it was a bar. It was a bar, the lounge. Mm -hmm. oh, the lounge. Um, so I was like, no. I said, Still no worries. I got the manager. The manager talks to her and says, hey, it's in the menu. It's six people, da, da, da. And she's like, I just really don't understand. They're like, I, whatever you don't understand, it's right there written. So then um, they close out or whatever, and she leaves her phone. And then, um, like, mm -hmm. uh, 30 minutes later, the the phone is ringing, and the, the husband has to come back for the phone. He comes back. I have the phone because I could have just left the phone and let somebody else figure it out. You know what totally. I'm saying? But I took the phone, put it in the back, and he comes. He comes back and he's like, "I just want to let you know, she was having a really bad day." And I said, "Oh, I know. <laughs> I know it had nothing to do with me." Yeah. And I had to remain calm because sometimes it be the people, and so I can't feed into that. I just have to stay, remain, and be like, no matter what I was going to do, you was going to have an attitude anyway. Yeah. yeah. So I can't put that on me. That's yeah. mature. And I, was, and I was like, oh, but you as a husband know that she was being like this. Why don't you him her up? Because why is she talking about why? Why I don't deserve a tip? And she was a white woman? Oh, no. the nerve. No. Mm. Oh, the I, absolute nerve. Oh, I do not miss those situations yeah. where it's just like, you are just spreading poison mm -hmm. around the world. Yeah. Going through life that way. And yeah, I felt like I was constantly just like shoving away people's like bad energy. But that's yeah. an, that, that's another thing about not sweating the small stuff is that we will be like racking our brains about the way somebody's treating you or the way why things are not yeah. happening or stuff in the industry or even like weird interactions in the street. And if you move in the world of like, hey. This is a lot of them is this. This is their this is their issue. They're mm -hmm. projecting this on me. I think it makes you like move in a way that's like lighter. If you put everything inward and be like, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, then it is gonna be you because you're moving with this anxious, unstable energy too. True. Mm -hmm. Ugh, you know, I but hate you it when I feel like that. But you yes. ever met somebody that you're they're like, they're so confident and like they're like unmoved. It's because they're moving in the sense like, oh, it's you, not me. Marie. Yeah, it's yeah, you. It's I don't know. Marie, I love yeah. that.
It's a, I, I, I don't know what I don't know who you talking to, but totally, it's, that's you. Yeah. Versus, I feel like problem. I give. Are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I do that. I do yeah. that too. I do. I do that like, to you the Yeah, it's probably me. But I, know. I heard it, that saying, "Are are you mad at me?" or assuming things are about you is actually like narcissism. a narcissist. Narcissism. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not cute. I am. I'm not. It's not cute. You know what Leisure Center said to me the other day? I said something like. Um, I don't know what I said, but, and then I said, why, you think I'm a narcissist? And he goes, yeah, <laughs> but it's just because something bad happened to you when you were a baby. <laughs> something like that. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, you uh, need to go to therapy for like the other way. I was like, you're being too nice about that. And also like, is that true? Because I think there is some weird things that make like narcissism like have, or that focus where it's like, it's me, it's me, it's me. Like if a parent like, Blames you for stuff or stuff like that. But I was like, I think you can also just like be a sociopath. You know, the yeah. thing is, is that I'm just so mad that we all have this vocabulary. That's what's really, <laughs> it's yes. really, it's infuriating because it. everybody is learning stuff and it's all, <clears throat> it's all secondhand or it's all like, we've, we watch too many TikToks. So it's like, now everybody's autistic. Everybody's a <laughs> narcissist <laughs> and a sociopath. And it's like, y'all just learned these words last week. Yep. But now we saying it on a daily basis. I think that's kind of absurd. I yeah. think also sometimes it's just like, nobody's perfect. Everybody has their moments when they like act like a brat or they're just <coughs> wrong or they're just in a bad mood or they're just like, whatever. All of these things happen. No one's perfect. I think sometimes it doesn't always come down to like narcissism or autism. Well, or... I think it's the way you communicate. It's yeah. definitely a communicating thing. I think yeah. it's like one of those things where it's like, hey, you got to state what your wants and needs are when you're coming into a situation and you're already feeling like weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you're doing something with somebody, like you guys are working together and you're like, hey, I'm really sensitive today. And like, we I'm have not, to do, I'm we not, feeling, do. I'm and not like, feeling myself. I'm like insecure. So I'm just giving you the heads up so that you're 100%. giving somebody the chance to to give you grace and not say the wrong thing. Totally. Because sometimes you come yeah. in and you feeling weird and then somebody says something to you and it sets you off and then you start unraveling and yeah. it's like, wait, babe, I didn't even know you was having this kind of day. I know. So I think that's, and that's something we've dealt with a lot. And yeah. she has given me a lot of grace because when I get stressed, I get insecure and therefore frazzled, angry, freak out. And you've been really sweet to me about that. And it, it is something like a learned behavior that I'm like, actively trying to unlearn. Well, I yeah. think it's just because I, you know, I have a sister. And so and the, the I closer don't we get, take it too serious. The more I treat you like yeah. a sister, which is yeah. not, you're my sister, but like you're also my partner in my this friend. and friend. Yeah. yeah, and it's a different Well, I'm glad you, Carolina do that with you. What you mean? Because sometimes, you know. You want to have it out? No, no, Let's no. fucking go, <laughs> bitch. Same. Let's mm -hmm. fucking go. I'm just saying, it ain't, the, it ain't the same. I don't have grace for you? But you guys Carolina are will be together. Carolina will be on. <laughs> what? Huh? What, what is this? What's the problem? What's this? <laughs> like, and it's like, wait. And then I'll ask, well, what's wrong? What do you mean? Why, why are you asking me what's wrong? And it's like, <laughs> you you look like you're having an exorcism right now. Yeah. Of course I'm going to ask you <laughs> what what's are you wrong. Talking about? That's how you will be in the house. Sometimes you'll be uh, annoyed or upset or in a bad mood. Yeah. And I'll ask, and that triggers you. I feel like I usually tell you when I'm in a bad mood or when I'm upset. No. So I, sometimes if I'm not I have to saying pry. it, sometimes, yeah, sometimes I have you to have pry. to pry. But also I'm like, Sydney, why are you asking me that? Like, my face is telling you that I'm upset. No, bitch, that's not how communication works. Uh, you have to tell. Exactly you got to right. use your mouth. And I think that's the problem with a lot of people is the reason why things like go awry, uh, go awry. Awry, awry is because we're not talking. We're not talking. Mm -hmm. Like, I was um, watching uh, a TikTok um, mm -hmm thing that went viral about this couple that went in on, to dinner with this couple that just got engaged and I don't know what their friendship is like oh, but, yes, they, yes, but they I were going this. they were going to dinner together mm -hmm. and basically you know it was a very very expensive place you know five dollar sign place and it's in New York City or whatever so the, the newly engaged couple they kiki in they ordering stuff apps they going all they going all out or whatever and then when the the bill comes it's at the end of the night and like people have already left the place is shutting down they sweeping so the 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 new fiance husband whatever goes to the bathroom so then the couple who went is like oh i guess i guess they want 
us to pay? Or well, like the wife, a- the, the fiance girl was like, oh, are you guys treating us? No, well, that, no, no. That's after the um, the guy the, put his, his card, card down. down. But maybe he just put his card down because he was like, "All right, now they're gonna put a card no, no, down." No, 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 no. You wait until everybody sit down, yeah. mm-hmm. and then we figure out 100%. who's paying. Mm-hmm. You cannot be mad at you paying for somebody's bill if that's not. We didn't talk about that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I went on a date with somebody and. The conversation didn't go the way it was supposed to go. But in my head, I was like, I said the place. I wanted to take you here. I'm going to pay. I think that's an unspoken rule. If somebody says, hey, are you free? You want to get dinner with me? And then you pick the place. Are you, you dating gotta, you or gotta is this put, a friendship You got to put your card down. I don't care. Friend or date. You got to put your card down. No. Yes. No. Mm. You no. got to put your card down. I think, it's, I think we should also say. I'm sorry. We should also... Do you mean this between everyone or just... Not everyone. Are we not going to acknowledge that you date women and so it's women dating women? Oh, men should always pay. Is it, okay, your, yeah. Because I'm like... Put, so your, put, your, your, Amex, put, your, put your Amex down. Okay. But yeah. I'm saying yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. If, so uh, what um, we mean is that absolutely in certain situations, but in if the, right. if the situation is that a man is attending this date, he should be putting his money down. Yeah. Money. And he did. And the, the, the thing is that, that the the husband did put his card down mm-hmm. and then they were like, oh, I guess they're playing. I guess they're treating. But then the wife pulled the fiance woman to the side and was like, yeah, so this was really expensive or whatever. And um, yeah, so we won't be getting you no wet and gift. And w- actually, this dinner was more expensive than anything you had on your registry. Just real like tacky, just like Ooh, no coof. Yeah. And so she's, you're mad that y'all had to pay, but you didn't have to pay. You just needed to say, hey, so are we paying? You zelling us? We split right. in? Like, that's all that needed to be happening. I hear you, but I feel like there's like, uh, sometimes things are just awkward and it's not as easy to be like. Push through it. Push through I the awkward. Push through. Push through the, you didn't have or no wait problem. Until he's back from the bathroom. Yeah. You didn't have no problem down. dragging her we- her wedding registry. You didn't have no problem with Ooh, that. You used yeah. your mouth with that, but you yeah. didn't have the mouth to say, hey, I don't really, we don't really want to pay for all of this. Right. Well, she should have said something then. She should have. Because I understand if the guy was like, all right, I guess I'm here. Da, da, da. But the girl should have spoke up and said something. Everything it always leads with like, Weird. what did you say? Did you tell them that? If you didn't say that, then we're going to have some problems. And then you right. can't But don't you mad. think it's a little weird that they kind of just assumed that they would pay for it? Yeah, no, no, no. That was absolutely tacky. And then you call them out on that. Hey, yeah. did you think we were paying for this? Because we're not. Mm, right. But also, if someone, I think there is an unspoken thing. If someone just got married, if someone got a new good yeah, job, right, if right. it was somebody's birthday, yeah. if somebody died, like things of those, it's like those unspoken things. Like, okay, let me let me take care of them. Like if, if we all had a birthday dinner, we don't make the birthday person pay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, I can see that. So it's like, Maybe I think they are ass- like, oh, assumption. they're going to dinner. Yeah. We just got engaged. I guess y'all are going to, but it should be you should talk about it. And I yeah. think people have terrible communication skills. They don't have them. And even when they have the tools, they still want to go with like their emotion than, mm-hmm. than dealing with yeah. like, what is that? What is at hand? I yeah. mean, me and Hamide went to, we were in Miami with the Oan or near Miami with the Oan. And we went to lunch and Hamide went to pay the bill. And I was like, what? <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> and what is that? And he was just like, no, it's fine. I'm going to pay. And he paid for our lunch. But I was like, why would you pay for our lunch? Uncle Juan is going to pay for the lunch. Like, Uncle Juan is old. Maybe he he wanted to. I know he did, but I just found that weird. I was like, I feel like that's an unspoken role of like, older family member with money pays for lunch. But isn't Hamaday always the opposite where it's like you're taking care, care of, the of the older, older people? people. Like, I know, that but that, me it took all. me a shock. I've never paid for anything for my uncle. Let me tell you one thing. The people who want to will, because when I, every time I've gone somewhere, mm-hmm. the bill has already been fucking paid. Yeah. They've already slipped in. They are, when they already walked in, they already got a tab. Which I, I don't know. That. But the thing about No, but the, Uncle Juan was like, take it. He had his card out. He was like, I will pay for this. Yeah. And then Hamadeh was like, no, I will pay for this. And I was like, what is happening? Yeah. I mean, the, the thing about like um, like uh, money, money is weird. Obviously, yeah. it's very awkward. And I think that we just have to come to the, just talk about it. We just need to come as a as a community. We see it's a recession. We know people ain't got people are taking the train at all hours. I'm talking about 3 a.m. Me yeah. and Sydney. Me and Sydney are on so the like, train. People's money I'm is to hear that. people's yeah. money is not the way it is. So I think we just are, have these open discussions with like, hey, 
is this something really I can afford? And then if you see somebody going crazy with the the ordering, oh, I just assume this is on you because there's no way yeah. you would be more. Speaking of, so when we go to Kiki's later, everyone's going to chill. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but Kiki's is like Cheap. so yeah, it's affordable not, it's, it's that you feel. That's why I always pick you it. feel like, like eating yeah, like it's a, like a feast. You feel yeah. like a like a king every time. Yeah. You know, yeah. somebody's feeding you grapes and red wine. Or but whatever. that's the other thing. Like, go somewhere that makes sense for your pockets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that too. That too. Go somewhere that makes sense for your pockets. I feel like people don't. And also, it's like New York City. There's so many restaurants. I know how to find a good spot. You are good. You're good at finding. I know how to find yeah. a good My spot. question about the couple with the two dinners thing. It's like, mm. okay, I understand if it was that much, but to go and say something that's going to maybe be detrimental to your friendship, I'm not getting your wedding present, your registry is whatever, like, is that worth it? I think that's a time where you just it's eat it. It's the way they said it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you... That, to me, is sweating the small stuff in a way where it's like, okay, this was... I'm guessing the bill was probably not over, like, $600. So maybe you spent two or $300 more than you thought you were going to spend. No, no, Ouch. no. It, apparently, the way she was talking, it was that much money. Mm-hmm. And that's why... That's another thing that she was probably upset about. Uh, but again, money, but, but again, like, again, you have to put your emotions aside. Yeah. I, a lot of times, I'm like, I'm being emotional. I'm being emotional. I'm like... I and it's okay to we use we weaponize emotions when we mm. shouldn't. It's yeah. okay to have a mo- but when your emotions get the best of mm-hmm. how you handle a situation, then that's when we're like, ah, yeah, uh, you probably should have. She felt like she was. Be- she felt like they were being taken advantage of. Then you and say she that. Had had a conversation where a friend instead of assuming that they wanted to take advantage of you, I could see that. Well, yeah. it was a nice but, way to say it yeah, instead of like, like girl, listen, that was a lot of money for us. But also, yeah. we, also, we know. need to say this now: when the check comes and you go to the bathroom. That's a no. Let's yeah. handle it. You had all yeah. this time. We had we had finished doing dessert and everything. Mm. Oh, now all of a sudden you go go take a number five. Absolutely <laughs> not. Sit your ass down, and we're gonna figure out and this check, yeah. and then you are gonna plop your ass on the toilet. Well, that kind of reminds me of the other thing on Instagram where the girl put up those two pictures, and it was like the one girl wore a like an orange basic Forever Twenty One dress to the dinner. It was her birthday dinner, and then her friend was wearing like. One of those like knockoff Mugler cat suits, mm-hmm. and she was like beat down, face beat, like ooh ooh You're ooh, like, ah, ah. and everybody was like. Then the girl texted the girl and was like, "I feel like you were trying to one up me because, you know, like why would you dress like that to come to my birthday dinner?" And it's like, you don't have to say it like that. Either way, like if you were uncomfortable with the way that your friend was dressed or you felt like she was trying to, don't get emotional. Say to her like, "Look, it felt like." You know, I felt like like you were trying to like do. I don't know. I think there's just a way to say it. Like I went to. I my think you hire glam next time. Yeah, you <laughs> hire glam next time. That's the that's the response. Well, listen, said you hire <laughs> my friend. She just had a baby, and I was she. Her husband had this thing at the house for them. Um, he got a jap a, a sushi chef to come, and like we had all like all this Japanese food. It was amazing. She said to me, she was like, "Don't dress up, bitch. Don't do too much." She was like, I just had a baby. I don't feel, I'm not feeling <laughs> yeah. it. She said, I'm going through it. I'm going to do my best. But I was like, she was like, I just, I don't need you doing too much. But it was at the house. Yeah. I think that's fair. But if we out in public and you telling me, yeah, you know, we doing sweatpants. I'm like, babe, then well, we need to wait. We, 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 we yeah. might have to wait on this. Because yeah. why? I, I don't, you shouldn't be policing the way I'm supposed to look. But I didn't look. feel police at all. No, no, no. I just felt yeah. like. I, I, honestly, That's and she nice. didn't tell me what to wear. Mm-hmm. She just, but the thing is, the fact of the matter is, between the two of us, I am the one who dresses up more. Yeah, I am the one who's going to be wearing a full face of makeup and like be wearing something a lot. And it is her birthday, and she just had the baby, and she's tired, and she's my friend, and I love her. So she says to me, "Yeah, girl, please, like, just keep it chill with me for today because I'm not." I can't bring it, and it's going to make me feel bad. I don't but know. But I also didn't see one photo from that. It wasn't in public. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. That's a. I, That's my that was, died. That was <laughs> great communication. Um, but also, I'm tired of everybody going to the to the to to social media. Y'all, everybody needs to sit yeah. down and handle things like adults, and then it ends there. Yeah. I'm, I'm so... Well, that's it, what makes it so big when people put everything on social media yeah. and everyone chimes in. Then that's how that's you can't... Crazy. That's how you end up sweating the small stuff or little things that could have been small become huge. That, that lady... 
that with the engaged friend, she ne- her friend's never going to talk to her They're again. not friends. They're not yeah. friends anymore. Well, no, 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 no. She said that they wa- they talked it out and everything oh, okay. is all good. That's what all she right. said. After but, it's going but, viral. But it's going to be, it's never going to be the same. They're not about to go to dinner again. I, we're not going to dinner That'd again. I think. Um, They're not going to dinner. This, this woman, there was, this was for Mother's Day. This woman was like complaining about how everything that her husband did not do for her on Mother's Day. Like mm-hmm. he didn't have the food that she wanted and. She had to go get the luggage to check out of the hotel. He mm-hmm. forgot the keys. She had to go get in a car, give him the keys and do all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And like, she's like, and and guess what? And I'm pregnant. Like, you know, all this stuff. And, and it went crazy, crazy. Vibe. And people were dragging her husband to feel they like divorce, divorce, divorce. And she shut her whole thing down. And it's like, yeah, because why on earth would you go in public oh, I and think say I remember this. how your your husband didn't get anything right? And you think that people weren't going to be like, you need to leave yeah. him? Mm. If you care about somebody, if, left him. if you care about somebody, well, it seemed like the leading up to this, he wasn't doing things right. But it's like, okay, y'all go to therapy. Y'all handle that offline. You don't yeah. do, you, that's, the that's way wild. the internet works, it's not going to do what you want it to do. So if you love somebody and if you care about someone, mm. you're not going to let the public decide what you need to be doing in the relationship. Is that punishment? Is that like a form of punishment? Is she Mm. actually looking for advice? Is she looking to go viral? Like, what's the intention behind it? Hey, hey, when people start, hey, I didn't know that that, that, the video is going to go crazy. Like, that you don't know. Oh, no, that's always what they say. Even worse. Okay, even worse. So only your friends and family see it? A hundred of your closest people see that? Yeah, and then they're looking at your husband the next time they see him. I don't don't think you should do it. I don't don't think... Never. I don't think is I don't, don't think it's funny. It I don't media. like it. I, and like even sometimes it's just like you're going on dates with people and you're taking like pictures and things. That, I think that's oh in, the girl with the oysters. That's in, that's invasive. That's weird, you know. And like right. I, I wouldn't feel safe. I would be like, so what the fuck are you putting? What are you telling these people? And like even if like we don't, we're not in. A, <laughs> no, I would. The last we have re- a couple friends. The last relationship <laughs> I was in, the the person was like, hey. That podcast stuff, I love that you're doing it, but there's got to be some kind yeah. of boundary. Mm-hmm. I don't want my stuff out there. Yeah. And I think that should go for anybody. Like That's valid. 100%. I mean, if someone says something to you, then obviously you should listen to them. But if they don't say anything... But I don't know. I think you should give somebody the, the, the right. I mean, I, as a storyteller, I always have to tell my stories from like what happened to me and what mm. I did and in my perspective, because I'm in control of that. But... Just to give someone else perspective and say everything what they did, I don't think that's fair. Thank God yeah, Hum doesn't 100%. listen to the pod, right? Oh, my God. Praise oh the God. Lord. Yeah. My husband does not listen to this podcast. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. I, I don't think I see anything that bad, though. I don't but think maybe so the either. Sex I mean, we definitely have different, we have different boundaries. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think he would probably mm-hmm. be upset with that. Yeah, maybe the sex stuff. Yeah, but we, I mean, they need to federally regulate microphones. <laughs> Just honestly, the, I mean, yeah. everyone is grabbing a microphone and saying anything and everything and telling everybody. And that's when it means like sweat. It, now there's it's so hard not to sweat the small stuff because yeah. any little thing you can turn it into, you know, content and make it a bigger deal. And then it blows up and goes viral. And it's the theme and people and it's the stuff that you're like, yo, I wouldn't normally care about this. But like a million people say that care this is fucked it, yeah. up. So right. I guess I got to care. And it's like, totally. Really? I mean, it's just, it's, it makes me think about all those, like, viral videos, like the one yeah. about the food and then the girl with the dress and then this lady with her husband. Like, all of those things get so magnified and then it becomes, like, then people start saying crazy things. Like, yeah. remember when it was another one where it was, like, a birthday dinner where... It, the, it was like $600 each and then the person was like, no, I'm not paying $600. Every time I see these videos, it's like, y'all need to stay home. Mm-hmm. Cook yeah. at home. You know who's not having fights? People who are going to Trader Joe's, getting their meals and then making them at home. But also, it's like $600. <laughs> if, if the meal is going to be... Tell me. Because if I showed up to a meal today and it was $600, I ain't got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's that's an insane thing to do if you know your friends can't afford it. That's ridiculous. But, but I, the I girls think, are living in La La Land. I yeah, feel. But I think this I is. I wouldn't a, spend six hundred dollars on food when we're in an economic crisis. But I think that's another thing that people hate to talk about, which um, you know I'm learning about it too. It's just like telling people like the real. Hey, I can't keep up with the Joneses right now. You see, even if I you see me like budgeting and taking the train mm-hmm. or whatever. If I come to dinner, you're like, oh, you down, you down to dinner. But it's like 
you have to be like, hey, listen, I'm getting a separate check because I can't rock the way you would. Now, mm-hmm, I want to yeah. be with y'all, mm-hmm. but I can't do what you're doing. And you I think sit that, down a boundary, yeah, yeah, it's like it, communicating is so easy and hard. And I think that's what really takes up a, a majority of the, oh, my God, things are bigger than what it is. Mm-hmm. Because right. it's so hard to put your foot down and say, hey, this is not right. I don't like this. I I can't afford this. Mm-hmm. I, this doesn't make me feel good. Those are things that you say and you're like, Ugh, I kind of feel, I feel like, Ugh, like a yeah. loser. Like or a like, loser, but it's like, listen, then I'm a loser. Yeah. But then someone else could feel now comfortable because you've already put it out there mm-hmm. and they were maybe scared to or whatever. And at the end of the day, that's kind of small stuff as well. You're not saying like, I committed a crime. You're like, I'm having a tough time in my life in this area. Like, yeah. It's not like, I mean, I keep... I but try people to, do look... I, it, I understand what you're saying because it also is because people do look down on you or maybe they don't and you just feel like they're going to. I think for me, I'm just used to having more well, money than I have right now. And, and it's so exacerbated it's by social media. Yeah. Because you see people doing shit. You, still, you don't need to hard. be around anybody that's making you feel bad for your circumstances. And yeah. you mm-hmm. need to be around people who are like, I get it. And like... The most times that people who have been like, yo, Sydney, thank you for being my friend. When I'm like, I get it. It's fine. No worries. Yeah, Whatever. Course. And it like, because I'm aloof, but I'm mainly like, you know, disassociating. So that's why I'm like, <laughs> that's why I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But it's like the person that's like, no worries. No. And for real, they mean like, no worries. Yeah. That is like such a weight off your shoulders that I think more people should try to practice because the more you harp on things, that actually gives people anxiety and then they move in the world with PTSD of like, Mm. well, when I did say something, it was this big old thing and then that's when they're like, I'm gonna just not say anything and keep it in. Roll up in a ball inside of myself. And then then you walking around like a stiff board like, and it's like, yeah, what's wrong? Uh, I don't want to say nothing because the last time I said something, my friend blew up on me, Mm -hmm. you know? So right. I think it's all like connected. But for me right now, it's like also, I don't know how to even have the bandwidth to even care <laughs> totally. too much. I just don't. I'm like, I'll be like, I think that's with age. When you get a certain age, you're yeah. like, none of, like literally none of this matters. Um, the aliens came down and said, I'm all set. And yeah. so like, <laughs> why, why are we really like yeah. focused on things too much, you know? Yeah. But the the internet will push the algo will push certain things to make you think that you you're need to lacking. care or you're lacking or you should be doing more. And I, my boundary is I'm only going to do what I can do right now. And if you have a problem with that, so be it. Mm. But I will say this during 2020, Black Lives Matter. I mean, I feel like we over exhausted ourselves oh, it was and so much that I like I will never do that again. I'm never doing that. I, what do you mean do that again? Just like. I was I was like, I have to post. I have to be in it. I have to do all this stuff. I have a voice. I have to. The people who are supposed to do that and can are doing it. I Why am I straining myself? And now, mm-hmm. now I can't even do any of the things that I'm supposed to do for this bigger thing that at 2021, people are still doing that same shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, we did all that. Now I'm burnt out. I'm in a bit fetal position because I've like exhausted on all fronts, you mm-hmm. know? So I think social media, you do what you could do. You do you could do it in public, do it in private. And that's the thing that also is annoying is like everything's got to be on the gram. And it's like people are doing the work mm-hmm. and the people who are doing the work. They're not sometimes the loudest, you know, and you have to be OK with like. Hey, not being like, hey, I did this, you know, mm. oh, I'm a good student, mm. which is so fucking annoying online. You're like, people yeah. has, have to know that I'm in therapy and that I'm working out and that I have friends and that mm-hmm. I got things going on. And it's like right. some of the people I know who have the most going on, bitch, they got five posts up. Five posts, they ain't got yeah. no reels, no yeah. nothing. Yeah. But they got big, big deals going on. And they're like, girl, it is what it is. It is I don't want to be in the mix. Good. I've, I don't know. I don't want to be in the mix either. I just want money. Yeah, right. Carolina's like, money. take a picture of me over here. Take a picture of me here, which I love, which I love. It's just a different. But I feel like Girl, you, you got to hire post. somebody for that. <laughs> you got to you got to get a stand or something. I have a stand. You got to use a stand. You got to use a clicker. I don't ask to take that many No, no, no. Pictures. I'm doing this. I'm putting this on. Y'all, everybody who's like getting content. 
I see people, yes, they look crazy. They got their tripod up and they doing their clicker, but right. they have integrity. They're not bothering everybody to be like, take this, take that. I'm not saying you bothering. Oh, I'm no. just saying in general. No, I'm saying in general, get your tripod. Bezos got everything you need to do to <laughs> shoot yourself. your content. Yeah. yeah. Stop asking people. Can you get to get, get, to take a hundred pictures for you not to post none of them? That's so true. That's we true. all need to be like to sweat the small stuff. If your friend feels uncomfortable, like you using them as a photographer, you need to respect That's, their boundary yeah. and get mm. your little tripod. Do self timer and do what you need to do. Yes, ma'am. Not you, just in general. <laughs> in general, okay. everybody. Good. Because I feel like I don't ask that many people. If it isn't one person no, I I'm ask teasing. the most, it's Tom, and that's his job. Well, he's a husband, so that's he knows. That's his job. Yeah, you married Instagram into that. Instagram husbands know what they need to he do. Married yeah, he married into like that. He knows. Oh. Well, thank you, Sid. This yeah, was this was really, perfect. You were so insightful. I feel like I just took over and just... That's and literally that's what, what we, we want. wanted. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I feel like show. I was like <laughs> no. taking notes and enjoying... <laughs> Who's a hoe with feelings? Me. <laughs> feelings. Don't make I her wanna, do that. I want to have less feelings. That's what I want. I'm oh, we all want to have less feelings. That's just not life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not how it goes. I want less feelings. Would love less feelings. I'm chock or full even of them. consistent feelings. Feeling yeah. the same way. Makes sense. Since you will get bored. No, you will get bored being, that's being, true, that's being true. content and never feeling like anger or sadness is yeah, uh, it's true. annoying. And then you're going to find a way to be like, oh, who that person who don't be giving me on no attention? Let me, what they doing? Right. Mm, hey, you're right, you're right. you want to hang out? And then they're like ghosting. You're like, you did okay. that. Yep. You wanted to feel something. Now you, you now you now feel, I did feel something, something crazy. Now yeah, you feel totally. dusted because they dusted you. That's exactly what they did. You're exactly right. I just make me Fuck. feel something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Creepy. Sydney, do you want to promote anything? Yeah. Um, my Instagram, I guess, uh, yep. just Sid BW, um, J U S T S Y D B W. And then I have a solo show, how to start a fire. I'm always doing that at union so hall. Good. And you know, I'm what at, day? um, December the 9th, December the 9th at union hall. I don't know when this is coming out, but it'll be before that. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, I'll do that. And you know, I'm out here, I'm trying to get my life in order and taking it one day at a time. Taking dates, right? I am. I am. Look at your face. Wow. She's dating and she's taking uh, dates. So if any of the listeners. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be so cool? I would love that. Don't I give that to that. us. We'll be too but excited. I need to, I need to, I'm not going to get involved. Yeah. I need to. Yeah. No, we're cool. We're chill. Up. We're chill. Yeah. I'll tell you yeah. what I did to Mary Kate the other day when we get off. Okay, great. Can we do that? She knows what I did. All right. All right. Love feelings. you, Sid. How's the feelings? <laughs> <laughs> 